Hi everyone, my name is Mark. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. This is the Aztec Eagle Bowl calendar. Today we're going to show how it matches a lot of these cryptic murals that are in the Denver International Airport that show about the end of the age and the day of the Lord coming and World War III which is all planned by the world powers to go on and the mark of the beast or the new world order coming. This is not the calendar that actually had the December 21st date on it. This is the Mayan Tortuguero Tablet 6 that hardly anybody in the world saw and most of the scholars hid this away from everybody. They didn't even show all of the people. Most of the people looking for about the Mayan calendars and all the people studying it never studied this one. This is the calendar, the only one that supposedly had the date. And I've shown for the last few years that that has been a lie. There is no date on here. This is what the actual tablet shows and the reason they didn't want to show anybody this is it. it's all about Jesus Christ and the end of the age coming with the little horn of the Bible and the sword for the second horseman and this stone coming. It even shows the rapture with the bride going over the great tribulation. And well it's all right here very easy to see. Today we're going to match up those other things with this one right here. This, this drawing here is showing about the rapture with the P for the Pallades and for peace. They keep showing that the Pallades is a safe place for the soul to go. The door to infinity. The sparrow leaves. The Indian here is riding a red bull representing the second horseman of the apocalypse. And here's the guillotines for the new monarchy. And then he has all the oil. This Indian's name is Mesaw. If you have seen Iron Man 3, it plays out a lot like what's coming. I keep showing that the New World Order is going to have to fight something different. Something, something like death that has come up. Everybody, most people in the world think the New World Order is just going to crank up for no reason. They're just going to start doing the mark of the beast. Just as in Iron Man, it showed that something happens to America, known as the head wound of the Bible. And then the man of perdition is revealed or whatever. In the movie Iron Man 3, right after he got hit and his place got destroyed, he went and took he went and got a Indian's robe and put it on. He represented this guy right here. Coming. They keep showing that something happens to America and whatever, and then America has to go up against this red alliance here. And they have to start doing the guillotines, all of this stuff, just like in the Iron Man 3 movie. But this is part of what I've been showing. So you're going, everybody's going to be caught in the middle. You're going to have the bad guys, and then you're going to have the NWO as the good guys. There's really not much of a choice anymore. Jesus is gone. Grace and mercy is over. That's how the great deception will come about. There was even a deception in the movie there showing that it was all basically a big planned act blaming it on a bunch of different countries like Pakistan and several other places. But that was Iron Man 3 right there. He represented this guy. Right after he got hit on his home in Southern California, he went and put on an Indian coat and then got ready to go fight that thing. And it, they had to basically cut the guy's head off at the end. And then the wife in the movie, I don't know why I just did a whole review of Iron Man 3. I was going to do that later. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. But um, Pepper at the end had to destroy the other bad guy, if you will. Sorry, I think I just went over the whole Iron Man 3 thing. My whole breakdown I was going to do later on. But anyways, this is the Aztec Eagle Bowl calendar. This is that guy coming down again. This guy in blue right here represents that Indian. See, he has an Indian headdress. So we're going to go into this and break this down and have some fun and even show the rapture in here. I've shown on the tops up here that it shows Jesus coming and sitting on the throne. 
This is an older one right here. Oh, it's probably too bright. But anyways, I'm going to do it. But you can see this face right here of Jesus. And he's sitting on the throne. Right there. Just like that. But there's a throne right here. And on either side are ladders. As um, stairways to heaven. See on the side here is a ladder. Oops, sorry. See in the middle he comes and sits on a throne. You can count these if you want. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And he's a tree. He's the tree of life there. But you can see on each side is the ladder. And the ladder up to heaven. Like a bull's horns. Like a set of horns. Just like that. They show this actually over on the Nazca lines that are right around for us to see also. Let's go take a look at those quickly and show this ladder and show Jesus at the base of it. This is what's known as the Nazca lines down in Peru. Another area that has not been covered very well and has been covered up. It's very easy for the powers to be in the world to just hire specific people and only fund specific people and not give permits to others and only have certain groups allowed to investigate. That way they control the information that's let out and even the scholars and the archaeologists and everything doing it don't even know what they're really reporting on. They're hired to do one part, they're gone, the next little set of group is allowed to do a part. So just like when you assemble a rocket at the NASA Space Center or assemble a satellite, 200 different corporations have contributed to making that satellite but only one group of only the head person is assembling it all together and then putting in the special products you know or taking out they're editing everything so that's how you can end up with whole institutions and for thousands of years now with all of this satellite technology nobody's even shown these things on here this right here represents that V, the ladder to heaven. Jesus is sitting right here. All of this is made here for us to be able to find and see. So as Jesus said, at the end of the age, technology would be increased. He's standing right here. This is very intricate. This is actually meant so you can see what the inner workings are of the, of the earth and the spiritual realms. All of these little pipes and things that you see here drawn, they show souls going through them and going into their bodies and going to their different places. Jesus sends the people up. He has a little spiral right here. I didn't finish it all, but he even has a big dog right here that he uses the dog star Sirius to teleport people around. But that's him right there. Now, now on up here, this is, this is way advanced. I shouldn't probably do this right now. I should just go to that calendar. But anyways, one side shows like Iron Man waking up. This is the time when Iron Man wakes up. He's sleeping right here. They show a guy like sleeping. And then up here is the New World Order. This side, which does not go to heaven. This side goes to heaven. This side goes over here and gets capped off. And it shows that they actually put like the RFID chip into people, like right here. Very hard to see. I'm going way too fast, probably. But just like that. Up at the top, this is where the heaven area is. You see it just like this. There we go. You can see what's supposed to be like God sitting here, or whoever you want to say. The bull. And he has the cup in one hand, which is known as the Pallades. Then he has the horns of the bull in the other, the scales. The thing here is, the old legend is that to make the jump over the bull's horns, that's the leap of faith. And if you fail the leap, you land on the spike. This is a mural from the one, a Bank of America mural. And it's showing like the devil and his fallen angels coming down. And they have a net ready to catch him right here to put him to work. To wake up the false prophet. The Iron Man character is supposed to be the false prophet waking up to start the new world order. 
Now we're going to show this net right on that Aztec calendar now. So here we go. We have Jesus at the top sitting on the throne and the two ladders. You can go one way or you can go the other. Down here, we're going to go through this quickly. I'll show it. Down around the edge here, this is supposed to be Nibiru as it makes its pass every 5,000 years or 3,500 years, whatever you want to apply it to, 7,000 years, as it comes by. The legend is that that is actually cooks the earth. That's what's been making the earth. That comes by, the earth resets, redoes, and it's been doing this for billions of years. It's part of the earth growing. The During the time of the Exodus, in what's known as the Colburn text, they talk of a red dust that gets spread all over the earth, and it causes things to grow. It's like a radioactive dust. Changes the DNA and such. You see it comes by and it does its flames. Does its flames. Does its flames. And each time it does this, it clicks another lever for everything to be built. They are making man all of this time to make our bodies and do all of these things you know throughout all of the ages these are what's known as the traits of each side you can go to this side you can go to that side this side has the crocodile the reptile side this side has the regular mammals over here on the bottom you have like the Edom or you can go to, um, if you want to say it's Inky and Enlil, that's fine too. That's up to you. I believe it shows like Edom here with the bearded side over here. So you can take your pick, Edom and Esau each way. Or the bearded side, Edom was um, very hairy, supposedly. The reptile side. Now, and we say you can see the traits here and it breaks in half and in half I'm gonna use another one here and flip it over and you can see how the here we go this is very detailed these are sheep one in each hand this person is grabbing the sheep with each hand sticking them down into here into this box and then they're creating us. That's how we've been made since the beginning of time, if you will. You turn these over. You can see pretty well in here. This. The mammal side, Esau side, has a regular human being in it, connected to the Holy Ghost. This side has a reptilian side in it with snakes and a little tiny demon person sitting in this thing like a mitochondria DNA thing, the bad voice, and it's on a roller coaster ride. It's like it's floating in the DNA. That's what it shows on there. They actually showed this on the Michael Jackson Dangerous album cover. They're riding little roller coasters. Literally, I guess I'll have to show that real quick. There we go, right there. We're about like that. You can see that there. It's getting ready for the fifth H coming. There was even a harp right in here. All right, let's finish this part. See him and him. Just like that there. And that's the blending of the two and the DNA going on. On this side, you can see the harp, just like for over for the red. Who is the red and who is the blue? England is the red. America is the blue. England, Edom, right there. The harp for the coat of arms of Prince William. All right there. So we can see here that these are the traits for the two sides, for the reptile side and the mammal side. This side, the mammal side, starts with a monkey, and then it shows fields, 
or grass and then it shows spice we are the spice of the earth then it shows a jaguar an eagle and a vulture and then this is the Pallades the, the symbol for it for the Pallades and then the rest of this is for when you turn it over to show it coming down from the other side see how it goes down then you break it the other way the reptile side and see how the reptile side is all mean look they have teeth teeth skull see how it's all mean teeth the reptile side is the dog and what's known as water but it's also supposed to be choices there's a hand on each side a choice knowing good or evil we know good and evil now we know the difference between good and evil we have the knowledge of good and evil then it shows a rat and a deer for the hunt and then it shows a skull for death and a snake for the reptile side all of this right on here so we have the monkey the grass the spice the jaguar the eagle and the vulture for the mammals and we are mixed with the dogs we have the knowledge of good and evil the rat the deer we have death and we have the reptile side in all of us this is blended now we turn it over it comes down this way to be red and now you have the finished product just like the leopard a finished mammal and now you have the reptile side it's ready for the separation this leopard also represents Obama and you see it has a hook just like the Sandy Hook they keep going about and there's a hook here in this door a hook and a hook when the man of perdition reveals himself and betrays the world for whatever that's when the hook goes just like in the Bible and that's when this guy comes down just like in the Iron Man 3 movie when when they got blown up and a suit jumped right on Pepper and protected her and she was standing right by a big rabbit I show in all of these different things and the big rabbit had giant boobs literally it had giant boobs on it which actually represents a power plant down in the southern part of California at the Santa no free power plant oh no he's free at the 33 degree parallel you know how they love that 33 Now, as we showed over in the Bank of America mural about the net, because this guy is going to come down. This is where whoever falls. Now the reptile side wake up. These robot looking things represent the mark of the beast. This represents the Draco system. That's where the other ladder goes to the Draco system. This side goes to the Pallades over here that's the separation this is for the reptiles over in the Draco system at the top right here you can see what looks like a bunch of priests or whatever ready to catch the false prophet when he comes down and they're starting to do this check mark this is all right here this guy and he lands on this net. These are supposed to be a whole bunch of like little priests or Jesuits holding this big net. And he goes right into this guy. And they start doing this check mark right onto that man's head. Right there. See how many people have lied to us in this? I mean, it, this is right here. It's a check mark. Boom. Look over here. This is a wedding feast. You can see two people sitting at a wedding feast. You go to the wedding feast. Right here. And they give you a new body. They take whatever them roller coaster snake things that have been riding around with a bad voice. See, look, it's even a body. It looks like a perfect body. Just like that. So we can see that easily. The difference this door opens this hook hooks us out 
we go up here to a feast, then we get our new body, we get into a wedding bed, and we go to the Pallades, right over here. This guy gets caught in this net at the same time. He comes down and gets the great sword for the second seal, the, the man that takes peace from the world. The reptiles are revealed. The mark of the beast starts. At the end of the separation, their souls belong to the Draco system. Now they belong to the reptiles. And then the situation has all been completed. All through there. Matching everything we've been showing all around. This guy coming down. They have a net ready for him, whoever it is. You have this guy with the great sword coming down. Which was shown also in the Watchmen movie. His name is John. And the Watchmen movie, when he showed up, they blew up half the planet. And blamed it all on him. There, the Indian guy. Just like that, with his little Padawan, as they call it. Pepper. He has Pepper right there. He's coming with his great sword. He's ready to go. Right there. At the same time this door opens with the hook. When the leopard reveals himself as the man of perdition. And hooked out. And then you have Iron Man and Don Cheadle fighting whatever that thing was that and <laughs> to starting their new world order. Even the president was taken in Iron Man, representing a head wound to the Bible to the Bible. So you ended up with Don Cheadle, who was a black man, and Iron Man going after something after a big hit on America basically a head wound to America exactly as we're seeing all around there's something else coming in a lot of the things I've shown they show death is rising whatever that is whatever it could entail maybe it's just the fourth horseman but on this side you can see that they have death and with the reptile side that's why we have death in us and you see all the angry ones on this side that's that angry voice in everybody so there we go, that's the Indian guy, and that's him right there, the false prophet coming, rapture first, guillotines, and then this guy going around ready to do his mark of the beast and stuff, and something else is coming, something to start it, or a great deception to start it all, maybe it'll all be fake even, to start it all and then blame it on other people, but either way the guillotines are going to be ready, and they do show some type of different spiritual thing is coming death itself maybe the fourth horseman or something confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus believe in your heart God hath raised him from the dead and you'll be saved hallelujah everyone let's keep on going with all of the investigation and the evidence thank you very much